So 90% of SEO businesses fail to reach $1 million per year because they're making seven critical mistakes. And I only know this because my business plateaued at $30,000 per month. But when I finally fixed these seven mistakes you're about to learn, my SEO business revenue skyrocketed. I'm Nathan Gotch, the founder of Gotch SEO Academy and Rankability and the author of The SEO Entrepreneur. Since 2013, I've sold millions of dollars of SEO services and SEO training. And today, I wanna help you avoid the many mistakes I made along the way. So let's start with mistake number one, which is not niching down. So when you try to appeal to everyone, one, you appeal to no one. My friend Chris Dreyer understands this and it's why he's built an eight-figure SEO agency. But before he struck gold, Chris was like everyone else. He tried affiliate marketing, niche sites, taking any client that came along. Then one day he focused 100% of his effort on attracting personal injury lawyers as SEO clients. And now his agency, Rankings.io, is the go-to option for personal injury lawyers who want SEO help. So here's the deal. It's a red ocean if you start a generic, vague SEO agency, but it becomes a blue ocean when you focus on one specific niche. Think about Amazon. You see it as the monster that it is today, but don't forget where it started. They only sold books online. And how about Loom, which just sold for nearly a billion dollars? And it does one thing really well, screen recordings. Now you might be wondering what niche should you get into? Well, make sure you watch until the end because I'll share something that might help. Mistake number two, is acting like a big agency. So never pretend to be bigger than you are. And I see this mistake too often and it eliminates the biggest opportunity that you have. The truth is when you're small, you have advantages that big agencies don't. The biggest is a personal touch with the actual expert. Most agencies get so big that they assign inexperienced interns or entry level people to SEO campaigns. And that's why you need to double down on the fact that you're small. For example, here's gotchaseo.com circa 2013. I didn't know back then, but being super personal was highly effective for getting SEO clients. And businesses prefer to work with the actual expert instead of just being another number on a roster. So take that opportunity to get super personal and show your face and tell your prospective clients you will work directly with them. Assure them that you're the one who's leading their campaign and that they're in good hands. Mistake number three is focusing too much on getting leads. Now here's a catch 22. You need new leads and clients to grow your business, but you also need to get these clients results or they'll cancel your services. So what should you focus on? Well, first you need to focus on building your SEO portfolio as fast as possible. That means you'll need to do work that you might believe is below you. This is called eating dirt. What? Or paying your dues. And it's a requirement if you're trying to break into a niche. And once you've landed a handful of clients, you must retain them as long as possible. And you may have seen this statistic before. According to Harvard, getting a new client is five to 25 times more expensive than keeping an existing one. And that's why retention is the key to long-term success in an SEO business. So then the question is, how do you retain your clients? Well, there are two ways. Number one, results, and number two, client experience. And you need both of these to keep clients from churning. Mistake number four is thinking you can outsource everything. I personally love outsourcing, but it's the worst move when you're early on in your SEO business journey. You already know that client retention is the number one variable for long-term success, and 50% or more of that equation is based on your ability to drive SEO results. You can outsource it, but you'll be chasing your tail and bouncing from one one contractor to another, all of which have their own philosophies, systems, and theories. And guess who suffers? Your client. So if you're serious about building a long-term cash generating machine like an agency, you must build SEO systems. And systems are the only way to get consistent outcomes for your clients. Mistake number five is endless posting on social media. 
So are you trying to be an influencer or are you trying to get clients? Well, if you're here, I'm going to guess that you want more SEO clients. And I can tell you this, endlessly posting on social media to rack up vanity metrics is the worst path. Here's the secret that most successful agencies will never tell you. The best SEO leads actually come from referrals. So how do you get more referrals? Well, you guessed it, by getting your clients incredible results and you don't need social media to build a successful SEO business. In fact, there are dozens of other lead generation techniques that are far superior than social media. Mistake number six is thinking you need tons of experience to start an SEO business. I've spoken with hundreds of agency owners, consultants, and freelancers over the years, and guess what the number one roadblock is? It's imposter syndrome. Most early entrepreneurs think they need tons of case studies, testimonials, and years of experience to start taking on clients, but there is nothing further from the truth. In fact, when I started taking on clients, I only had a portfolio of results from my niche projects and only about a year of SEO experience. Listen, you don't need tons of experience. You only need some results to prove you know what you're doing. Then all you need to do is price your services based on your current experience level. And it's honestly embarrassing to admit this, but my first SEO retainer was for a whopping $100 per month and I took eating dirt to a new level in 2013. But that small sacrifice now allows me to charge $10,000 per month for SEO services. So mistake number seven is having superhero syndrome. Now each of these mistakes I've shared today will decrease your odds of success, but the most devastating mistake is having superhero syndrome. And I only know this because I'm the most guilty of this. I was the biggest bottleneck in my SEO business when I started. Instead of getting help, I tried to squeeze every penny and convince myself that hard work was smart. I was dead wrong. I discovered that working hard and struggling to figure things out yourself is a massive waste of time. Here's the truth. You are not rewarded based on how many hours you work. And you don't get a medal for struggling to figure things out. Instead, you get lots of stress, bad results, and a business hanging on for dear life. Now the good news is it doesn't have to be that way. You don't need to work any harder, and you don't need to figure it all out on your own. So here's what to do instead. Find someone who has already achieved your desired goal and learn from them. This is the biggest secret to success. It's simple. Learn from someone ahead of you to skip ahead and avoid making many of their mistakes. Like one of my Gotcha SEO Academy students, Jared Tangier, who went from working a nine to five job to building an SEO agency making over $50,000 per month in only a year. It took me almost three years to get to Jared's level because I was trying to be a superhero. So don't be like old me. Instead, find a coach and mentor to to guide you. So speaking of that, you have two options. Number one, invest in the SEO Entrepreneur book. This book will show you how to start an SEO business from scratch without any experience. It sold over 2,000 copies and it has a 4.8 on Amazon with 60 reviews. I highly recommend this book if you're below $10,000 per month in your SEO business. Number two is apply for Gotch SEO Academy if you're making more than $10,000 per month and you want to go to the next level. We have six seven and even eight figure agencies who use our systems to scale. I'll have links below for both. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.